Hey YouTube, it's your beekeeper here. What are we going to do today? We have so many little projects I'd like to get done. We are uh, somewhere uh, eight or nine days into May, I think. Right? They all kind of blur together. Birds are noisy. I got a guy coming later today. I thought I had this 99 sold. But, yeah, people are flakes. Whatever. Uh, so it's here. I got a guy who's interested in looking at that later today. So I'm going to give that a, another quick wash down because it lives outside. The little white truck over there. I've got to unload that. I think that's probably what this video will be about. I've got some goodies in there that I trash picked because the horde always needs more trash. If I get a minute, I've got to wire. I would like to wire these uh, work lights on the headache rack. That'll probably be a separate video if that happens. And then I need to get into this little camp trailer and wash this thing down inside and out. Somebody got into it the other night right here in front of the house. Uh, looks like they slept in it, uh, which is fine. They didn't damage anything. I'm not quite sure how they got in, but the door was wide open. I know the door is locked. I always lock the door on this thing. And ironically, the night before, I had just cut grass. The day before, I just cut grass late in the afternoon, and I know I went around this hedgerow here, and the door was closed. Um, and then the next morning, my neighbor comes and knocks on my door, and uh, I was at work, but he left me a note and said, hey, the door was wide open, I closed it, um, and then when I got home, I took a peek inside, and yep, yeah, it looked like someone had spent the night in there, which is dirty. So I gotta wash all the bedding and stuff in there, wipe that thing out. But first things first, there's the old tailgate for this rig. Yeah, by the time you've seen this, I don't know. I'm going to have a few handful of videos coming up. They're probably going to be out of sequence when all said and done, but uh, I got this up on Craigslist for free and uh, nobody wants it, surprisingly enough. So I'll just throw it in the scrap pile heap or I'll find a scrapper truck on the road somewhere and just ask them if they want it. So let me grab the keys to this guy and let's, uh, let's get crack a lacking. Well, yeah, this is what happens when you get a little bit of rain and you're leaving from El Rancho and that's just from my house to the highway but what's funny is look at the mess on this side where I don't have the fender flare then we'll walk you over to this side and this is what it should have looked like just a little bit <laughs> I actually have fender flares coming I bought a set the other day and uh, I had to buy a set of four whatever it's just money right who cares Get you guys going here. <laughs> I'm trying to watch through the camera. <laughs> Dummy. And go. Oh, nope, not yet. There we go. Whoops. I forget this one takes longer to start. You know, the, the 99 with the VP44. Um, Man, that thing just touched the... Stop. The 99 starts instantly, like half a crank, and the thing starts. And then this guy here with the common rail, it takes a little extra. Um, which seems to be normal. Or it seems to be... So then, I, you know, you get on the YouTube and you start looking up these common rails. And they all seem to, you know, take a couple turns. I guess there's a crank position sensor, I would guess, or something. I don't know. Anyhow, it's a late start. Look at that. 10.30. Good grief. All right, let's move this around. Let's get the little white truck here, and let's figure out what we're doing for today. All right, so I bring you back. I got everything pulled out of there, all the soft goods, and I'm doing laundry. I don't know what DNA is on that. Pillowcases, sheets, blankets, towels. All the goodies I keep in there on a regular. Took some Lysol and wiped down all the solid surfaces. But in here, let me... Um, let me pull this cart out. I think I'm going to make this in, my intention is to make this into a welding slash plasma cart because it's got some really cool wheels. But let me pull this stuff out and uh, I'll get you some backstory on this guy. So there it sits on the outside of the truck. I had to spend a little time putting that back together. I dumped about half of what was going on in here. It just becomes a catch-all. It's weird when you're not in your work truck every day. I mean, I drive this truck every day, but I don't go in the back every day like I used to. You just kind of throw stuff back there, 
occasionally <laughs> and then they sit and before you know it um, you're full and then it's not usable space so I mean really I don't have much of anything in there I got a box of some screws fasteners and whatnot a couple old Dewalt battery operated tools 18 volt stuff not even worth getting into the truck to steal old three foot ladder and an extension cord a couple other little trinkets but again Anyway, uh, let's back this up. So this is a cart that one of the subcontractors had thrown in the trash. I pulled it out because I saw the wheels and I thought the wheels were definitely worth saving. I offered this to my guys to use as an upgrade um, and they declined it. They're like, no, nope, we like our cheap little Rubbermaid carts with the hard, cheap tires on it. Um, I just, this says four flat tires. And I just suspect they didn't want to mess with it to see why these things are leaking. I don't know if these are tubeless or tubed. I suspect they're tubeless. Actually, yeah, looking at the rim there, now that I'm looking at it, I doubt they're tubed. But we'll flip it over and take a peek. But, I mean, the wheels alone are worth pulling it out of the trash, right? And the thing about this is, I under that blue tarp is the Terra Pro, the Honda Terra Pro. Look at my crooked old bent, broken, stupid finger. Still not right. I don't think it'll ever be right, but whatever. Um... TerraPro sits under that tarp but if you're familiar if you watch my videos for a while you know my shop is a 16 by 16 detached structure in the backyard of this house and um, boy originally when I moved in it was 16 by 32 it was glorious it was huge uh, but then you know you start building a family and you need a little more space so I did an addition and remodel and I cut that thing in half because I needed the yard space to put the bedrooms in so I chopped it to 16 by 16, put it on rollers, I pushed it onto the corner of the lot, and then that's where that sits. But that's a long way to say that I need to bring stuff from the truck back to that detached garage, like the welder. Right? The MIG welder's heavy, the plasma cutter's heavy. And you got to go across grass. There's concrete along the house, but then there's a stretch of grass you get across to get into the shed. Shed slash shop. I always call it a shed. I, it is whatever it is. It's a shop. I'm using it as a shop. Um, sheds are for storage, I guess. I don't know. Who cares? That's pedantic. Regardless, let's flip this thing over. Let's get a look at it. And uh, I think it's either way, even if I don't use it as a welding cart, I think it's a very functional cart. 24 by 36, roughly, I think, if I, if I remember my measurements. 22, 22 by 36. Pretty functional, two layers two levels and uh, sturdy I mean it's well built it's not rotted out just got to figure out why these tires aren't holding there so we set you down for a minute I'm gonna flip this thing over and let's see what we can see so here's pretty cool they are tubed they're two-piece rims so I'm gonna pull them apart and see what's going on and they have greasable bolts the zerk fittings are all gone off of them I don't know what I have available I'll see the little hole so I'm going to look in my inventory of Zerk fittings. I have several sizes. If I could put grease fittings in all these, that'd be even cool. So let's split these rims and let's see what these tubes look like inside. So we get the wheels off. A little penetrating oil on them. And then it turns out I didn't need to take the wheel apart. Because they do have cutouts in the rim. That are not going to make this stem stick out any farther. But I should be able... Excuse me, I should be able to get in there with the proper chuck. I don't know, we'll see. I'm not going to take the other ones apart just yet, other than to clean out the spider webs. But even that doesn't really matter because this thing's uh, in a spider webby area. So, yeah, let's put it together, put some air in it, see what happens. They're rolling pretty good. They're holding air. The one was not holding air, so I went through all the trouble to pull the wheel, break the rim apart, take this out, soak it in some bubbly water, and I'm not very smart. I broke the number one rule of a tire that goes flat. You guys know what it is? 
check the core. It was bubbling out of the core. So, or bubbling out of the stem via the core not making a proper seal. So I pulled the core out, put a new one in, and now we're holding air. It's not bubbling. I've held it under a bucket of water. Could have saved myself a whole, whole bunch of trouble. Oh well. What are you going to do? RIP headphone users. Sorry. Oh, well, there we go. It's up on its wheels. All four wheels are holding air. Put some new screws to hold this board here. It was uh, the bottom board. The screws had kind of funkied up about it. And they had put drywall screws in there before. And it must, this must have been outside for a while because the screws were rusty. Uh, the top one's got some coated ones in there. So I put some deck screws in there short. A little inch and a half, inch and three quarter deck screws. Something like that. They don't come out the top. That's all that matters. And uh, yeah, so this is a nice little roller right now. Got brakes. That's pretty cool. Eek. Wait a minute. Is that right? Yeah. It rolls nice now that I greased up the wheels. So we'll add this to the hoard and uh, use it to haul tools from the front of the house to the back of the house. Back of the house to the front house. You know what I mean? All right. Thanks for watching. Listen, I appreciate you watching a dumb video like this, but uh, this is what my day off consists of, just cleaning trucks and, and doing chores. So trying to stay uh, one step ahead of the chores. Figure I'd take you guys along for a little bit and see what kind of dumb things I get into. All right, anyway, gotta go, gotta run. See ya.